Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadow Dogs, the one bot built for theme parks and welcome ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages to another theme park newsroom update where we're going to be looking at the confirmed opening dates for the Flower and Food Festival coming this year to Dollywood. Um, now Dollywood is one of the major theme parks in the States for the overall experience of course, invested in many different attractions and areas around, this year, around these last few years. Um, you know, Fire Chaser Express, a wonderful family launch coaster, uh, Wildwood Grove, an overall wonderful themed area. Hopefully in the future, in the next few years, we're going to get a nice B&M hyper coaster or some kind of major coaster project, whether it's an extreme spinner or a launch coaster or an indoor coaster or even a hyper coaster. You know, that'd be wonderful for this park. Uh, but overall, this future is very exciting, especially with the potential Wildwood Grove Phase 2 uh, coming in the next year or two. So in this particular video, we're going to be looking at the opening date of the confirmed for the Flower and Food Festival, which is an exciting festival. It's been around the park for a few years now, and we're going to be looking at all the little details from the park's website around the details of this, as well as sharing the Screamscape article confirming the opening dates for this uh, festival. So before we get started, guys, with all of that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, cut the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. Also, guys, make sure you go check out the description down below where not only can you find that we've linked the article from Dollywood Theme Park's website, you can also check out Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat. And also, guys, make sure you go check out the Discord server for the channel where you, yes, you, the Coast Shell fan base, can interact with other members of the Chal Nation and be a part of interacting with other Coach Shell fans. Also guys, check out the Google Forms link where you can submit your video ideas to produce great content in the future and stay tuned because we may be releasing a Coach Shell website. And for now guys, let's have a look at all the details on the Flower and Food Festival for 2021 at Dollywood. So Dollywood have announced that not only is the park expected to be opening on March 13th for the 2021 season, we're also expecting to see between the April 23rd and June 7th the Flower and Food Festival for 2021, where the park's experience will be enhanced with large plant sculptures and other special decor, plus an assortment of special food items to try. Now, according to the park's website, plan your spring visit. The Smokies come alive. As flowers begin to bloom, the sun begins to shine and the temperatures start to rise, the Smoky Mountains come to life in full colour as springtime takes over the hills and valleys of Tennessee. We invite you to experience this renewing season with exhilarating rides, show-stopping entertainment, fresh flavours and so much more. Now, Dollywood is the place to be in this spring thanks to beautiful festivals and events all season long. Join us and love every moment. That's the, the main message from this. Now, the Spokies will bloom again April 23rd to June 7th. Wander through larger-than-life plant sculptures adorned in half a million colourful flower blooms. Dance under a picturesque umbrella sky and indulge in garden fresh flavours from Dollywood chefs. Uh, now, TripAdvisor Reviewer 2020 said absolutely breathtaking. And in terms of things to do, you could spring forward with attractions fit for every member of the family. Hop aboard Dragon Flyer and take flight through the Smoky Mountains. There is also the season coming alive with music and song as classic Dollywood entertainment fills the park with the personality of the mountains. We also have the crisp feeling of spring translated into a fresh palette of flavours as well as traditional southern comfort food. And take place a piece, take home a piece of the Smoky Mountains with a one of a kind handmade crafts, home decor, apparel and more. We will release a separate video in the near future discussing more about all these details surrounding um, individual aspects of what to do during the Flower and Food Festival. For now at least though, the rare details are very, very exciting indeed. So ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, that is looking at the little details, the first details surrounding this year's Flower and Food Festival at Dollywood. We also mentioned that the park will be opening on March 13th for the first time in the 2021 season. So we've seen a lot of American parks do this, a lot of USA theme parks scheduled to be opening uh, in March or around mid-March. Uh, and get ready for their 2021 season and open for the 2021 season by mid-March. Uh, obviously, the UK parks, we don't know what they're doing yet. We've, we've, we've heard bookings of, you know, mid to late March for the Pleasure Beach. We've heard loads of different things about, you know, Alton Towers maybe still going ahead with their 20th of March opening on a Saturday. 
Um, very interesting stuff coming out of Alton Towers from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Very exciting indeed. Um, you know, if the are if the if the UK parks are opening in March, then we'll see what the options are. If we are in tiered systems, obviously we can't ourselves go to the opening day of these uh, parks. But uh, if the if the tier systems aren't in place and the restrictions are starting to get eased with the more people vaccinated in the UK, then who knows? Maybe we could get a visit out there to the UK before April turns around. Um, but for the Flower and Food Festival, which is the main aspect of the video, uh, from the first details itself, the rides, the food, the entertainment, the shopping, very, very exciting indeed. The larger than life plant structures, we've seen that during past Flower and Food Festivals at Dollywood. Uh, it's a very signature event at the park and there's no reason why they can't up their game again in terms of bringing the sculptures to life. So it would be lovely to talk to someone from the park in the future about these festivals and about these events like the Flower and Food Festival. And I think that overall, you know, it's been a, it's been a rough, it's been a very tough few weeks, obviously, for, for, for the attractions industry, but especially for Dollywood, especially for the owner Dolly Parton it's been a, a tough month or two um, you know a very tough month and you know you can look online to see why I'm not going to share that in this video because it's too, it's too depressing uh, but you can look online for yourself why it's been a tough month or two for Dolly and um, you know um, I send my best to her and um, it's been a tough one for Dolly Wood it's been a tough one for everyone so you know what a way to bring that positivity and that color back to the park with the flower and food festival so very exciting stuff we will release another video in about a week or two uh, explaining more details around each individual uh, thing to do during the festival so stay tuned for that one but this one was just about rarer details and confirming the opening dates of the festival and also the parks opening date while we're at it as well uh, so thank you very much guys for this video make sure you like comment subscribe for more uh, and thank you very much, guys. My name is Coast Shell, Kill on the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a dolly-tastic day.